It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. A long hallway, huh? Let's check it out. We've seen this elevator before. We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Yeah. It works! I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to Sea Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. All right. Let's open it. <laughs> the nine door. <laughs> of course it wouldn't be that easy. Vacant. Huh. We finally found it. J Jumpy! Huh? What? A nine door. There's another one. Why? It's nine, no matter how you look at it. The red is there too. So this is a real one? Why? Why the hell are there two doors? <laughs> there were always two doors. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden, hidden but an exit, exit can be found. found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. <sighs> we fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through nine. Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The digital root for both teams would be nine. Or two, three, four, nine, and one, five, six, seven, eight. The digital root is still nine. There are a bunch of combinations that work and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of nine, so would the other one. What does that mean? The answer's simple. From the very beginning, the Nonary game was designed to save all nine people. That's how it was meant to be. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one nine door. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. There were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. This game was designed for that purpose. This notary game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning, but if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now. So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh, our numbers are one, three, five, and six. That's a digital root of six. The four of us can't open the number nine door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the nine door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Uh, are you sure? 
I, I don't mind staying. It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to go to Atlanta. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> you guys. Very well. Best we head back to Sea Deck then. We should be able to take the elevator we passed earlier. Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. But even with all seven of us... Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Let's find the other three first, and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Come to think of it... What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony, but what kind? Oh, a, a coffin. What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey, Junpei, the hell are you doing? Let's move. Right, okay, I'll be right there. Something's banging on the coffin. Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Very well, then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. All right, just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go. Good. We can still get in. We should thank Seven later. No luck. Yeah, I don't think she's here. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, oh, she's not here. Snake, just where did your sister go? Ugh. Such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arm's hideous. Huh? Wait, bones. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. The accident hurt him really bad. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. I thought so. That wasn't Snake. <sighs> Junpei, June, where were you guys? Did, did something happen? Clover is, Clover is dead. I found her in the first class bathroom. Clover, why? Why did this happen? 
Clover. No way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Yes. I I think so. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey! Guys! I found her, but it's bad! She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin! Come quick! Or... something like that. Then I went back to the bathroom. A Santa and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh, you think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <laughs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door 5 again. So, I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? This is... Rust. If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? Uh. Uh. Huh? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door, the ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah. Oh, the hell. This, this smell is... Oh. Uh. Wait. It's... it's gone. His bracelet. It's gone. It was right next to the glasses. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it? Clover. What was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. And? I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone. And truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister hand means... Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. The left hand. Hmm. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Truth. Gone. Hmm. Truth. Gone. Maybe those two words. How about switching the sentence around? Gone had truth. 
Well, that makes even less sense. Clearly, switching the words isn't going to help. What else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct. Something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. The left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking out. So if I... Press them in the following order. Wait, did it just... One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? Hmm. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. 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 Huh. One to the right, four to the left, and... Oh. Bingo. I knew it was for this. Oh, is this some sort of note? Let's see. Fact number one. The nonary game was played once before, nine years ago. Fact number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. So Snake was in it before. Fact number three. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CAO. Ace. Cradle Pharmaceuticals Chief of Staff. Cradle Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor. Majority Shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals. I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. Huh. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying... Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. <laughs> huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? Wh 
What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Wh what? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals 19. One plus nine would be 10. The digital route would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? Huh? <sighs> You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. Th to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <sighs> Ace, you have prosopagnosia. Am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... <sighs> Very well. I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me for my disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I, I have... Like, the fact that he's... he's the left arm had bones when we know that um, Snake had a fake arm. We know that you're the CEO of that pharmaceutical company and um, that note said that you were behind things. I have three pieces of evidence. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. <laughs> then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. He didn't want us going through door number three. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door seven and eight. There was no way we could get through door three the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X. Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. Oh god. No. That's impossible. 
Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Why would I want to kill Snake? You wanted the bracelet. I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> two, Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that, or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you. So you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nonary game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! Me? You said me, right? <gasps> Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, first of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope, you could have. <gasps> huh? Huh? What? what? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No! You couldn't have! I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the Ninth Man's Bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> if you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah. It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> well done, Junpei. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search, and headed to the first class cabin on B-Deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root, as you can see. Nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, 
I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus, the knife the ninth man had used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and had noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? You needed a bracelet. She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did in the first class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, Did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't, don't act, act as if you don't understand. You were in the, were captain's, in the captain's, quarters, captain's quarters, weren't you? Uh-huh. What are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Hmm. Very well. Uh, By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. <laughs> Did you Did go you take, take a look, a look at, at the ninth, ninth man's, man's corpse? corpse? Mm -hmm. I see. Your, Your silence, silence suggests that you noticed. You, noticed. you, saw, you saw something, something didn't you? you? You saw, saw that, his, that bracelet his bracelet was, was gone. gone. No! You aren't, you aren't going, going anywhere. anywhere. Oh! You're, You're staying, staying here. here. No! <laughs> Don't, Don't you, you run, run, little girl. girl. That was how I killed Clover. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <gasps> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I looked the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes. 
and that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. <sighs> it follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. <sighs> I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. I think Zero is one of us. Huh? Zero is one of us? No, wait, there's one more person. Snake, the man who died in the shower room isn't Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm, where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? If he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? Well, I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like a tough woman. Well, maybe you'd like another one then. Uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. Huh? If any of you so much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people? What do you mean? Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. The person who killed the ninth man was me. Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. It seems, it seems the settings, the settings for, the for the dead were altered. altered. Now, it now it only requires, requires a single, single person, person to deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. Investigate, investigate, investigate what's beyond door five. five. We'll meet again we'll later. later. And with that... Okay. Have, have a good, a good one, one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Why is it stopping? God damn it! You... You lied! Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen! I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! Ah! I had four reasons for killing him. As I said before, in the Nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. 
He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? The bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? Yes, yeah, one plus nine. Plus, yeah. And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit. He's getting away! But we can't risk it. Now, Lotus, open the door for me if you would. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn it! Uh... Hey, June, what happened? Are you alright? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Jumpy, don't worry about me. I just need... A little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. Soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! Ugh. Huh. All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. Hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? Maybe. Let's check the red. Engaged. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route isn't nine. What's that sound? It's coming from over there. The coffin? Yeah. Let's open it. How? By force! I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Who said that? I forget. <laughs> anyway, we've got to try. Damn it! See? Didn't I tell you? 
If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not going to open. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth had gone. Or something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Yeah, <laughs> throw him, throw his own words back at him, are you seven? <sighs> Who said that? You. Ah, fine. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. What? You gotta be kidding me. Snake! You? Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh... uh. Hmm. I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? <clears throat> hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? The three of us can't make a digital route of nine. Yeah, we just get five. We're stuck here then. Oh. Hey, I just remembered something. What? What is it? I, uh... I found something earlier. What did you find? This. Zero. Zero's bracelet. What did you say? Are you saying that Seven has the number Zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, A deck, in the captain's quarters. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. All right, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Wait, what? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Still, just in case, I want to make sure the Zero Bracelet gets picked up by the Red. Snake, give me a hand, all right? Huh? Why isn't it opening? Um, well, the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the Zero Bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Oh, got it! Let's try me, seven, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is six. It 
help him. Yes, so it would seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. Oh man, that's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go! But, Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Last? Resort? You really surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were gonna get out of that one. How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last resort. Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. You don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go through that door. Incinerator? Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Do you see a lever near the gate, perhaps? Yeah, right over here. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take... Half a day or so. Uh, hmm. uh. If you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. I don't think I want to be going into a great big room marked incinerator. <sighs> what? Why? Why is there another one? Oh, oh. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Oh my, how exciting. You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? Oh, yes. You are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a nine. Hm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Ah, well, your reaction suggests that you did not. Uh, hold on. Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hm. Clearly not. Normally, I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover. Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover. I said stop it! Don't listen to him, Snake. What happened to Clover? Clover died. No. That's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. 
I killed her myself, you see. What? I'm sorry, did I stutter? I killed her. <sighs> I would have rather she died with less suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. <laughs> I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so soft. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Hmm? What was that? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you are going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Don't do it! Don't listen to him, Snake! Stop it, kid! He's screwing with your head! Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! <gasps> snake! Snake! the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! I don't have time for your shenanigans. I see. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Kill you? What? No, that's impossible. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! St stay away from me! Get back! Stop! If you come any closer, I'll... I'll... Get away from me! <sighs> Listen to me! I said, don't come any closer! Shit! You bastard! Incineration will begin in three minutes. <laughs> Finally, you're... I'll kill you. You won't get away. You, you son of a bitch. You, you're a monster. Get off me. Let me go, damn you. This is it, Ace. We're going to burn to death together. What? Incineration will begin in two minutes. Yeah, damn it! Damn you! Get off! Let me go, you monster! Okay, 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 look. Think about it this way. My company owns a wonderful hospital. It has excellent doctors. You're you're not wounded too seriously. I I'm sure they can fix you up easily. You don't have to die. You could be saved, just let me go! <laughs> Pathetic. Begging for your <coughs> life. Snake, that's enough! You can stop now! Yes! He's right, Snake! You've done enough! Come on, Snake, let's go! Let's get out of here! You have to come with us! We have to leave together! I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best... Forget about me. You 
need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Shut up! Be quiet! I couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! We're out of time! We gotta go! <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here now! Snake! Snake! Wait! Don't be an idiot, Junpei! No! No! I have to help Snake! 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 Get off of me! Let me go! Just go, Junpei! You're gonna get fired! Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. <laughs> Seven. Six. Damn it, I don't get a choice, kid! Don't blame me for this, alright? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Gates two and three are locked down. Beginning incineration. <laughs> He's... Jim! Damn you all! Why? Why? Why me? I don't deserve this! Hesame! Hesame Zero! Why? Why? Zero! Zero! <sighs> hey, wait! Junpei! Junpei! Where are you going? Uh, you stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're gonna bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, alright? Ugh... <sighs> <sighs> I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe... Please work. Yes. June! Santa! <sighs> Damn it. Where did they go? Honey! No, no. It, it can't be. It's, it's impossible. Oh, Connie! Connie! Connie, are you alright? Jumpy? Uh. Oh, man. Uh, Connie, what the hell happened to you? You... you feel... Jumpy! I'm sorry. I... Uh, I might not make it. No. No way. No way. I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. Oh, for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. 
Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You, you just gotta hang on. All right, Connie? Chubby, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I've liked you for a long time, Junpei. A really long time. Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding? What the hell are you talking about? No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. I'm gonna get out of here with Connie. Why? Because I chose the wrong path. The wrong path? That is correct. Your path is inevitable, Your Honor. Admit defeat. Now may I only show you there is light. Now there is the absence of light. There is no shadow. So it is. What are you talking about? I am not. The master has been decided. I told you! I am not going to lose! No, you misunderstand. You have lost. I have lost. What? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back, I promise. Uh. Damn it. Where are you? It doesn't matter. I need to get Connie out first. Connie! Oh god. No. No. Where is she? Connie. Connie! 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 Huh? Wait. This is... White smoke. Dumb things.